Hi, I'm Patu from Free Fin Cal. Today, let's talk about Guild Mutual Funds and some of the uh, frequently asked questions on them. I asked uh, Facebook group Ask on Ideas of Wealth members over there for uh, to list some questions, and I got quite a few. I have answered half of them in this article. I'll leave the article uh, in the uh, first comment, uh, or you can uh, get it in the community page. Now, there are uh, several questions and several aspects of guild funds, but uh, I would like to discuss uh, the most important aspect of guild funds here. Before I do that, uh, if you are working with a fee-only financial advisor, a SEBI-registered fee-only financial advisor, either for uh, a person listed uh, in, uh, at Free FinCal or uh, fee-only India, uh, there is a new survey available uh, to provide feedback uh, uh, on their services. Uh, I will uh, post this in the community page uh, and you can uh, use that and uh, uh, provide your feedback. Thank you. So there are several questions asked by investors about guilt funds, but uh, the most important one seems to be the sensitivity to interest rates. Now, everybody understands that uh, guilt mutual funds uh, have uh, practically no credit risk. When I say that, what I really mean is that a guilt fund cannot be rated. The credit rating of a guilt fund for a resident investor is not applicable. For a resident investor, government bond rating, uh, government bonds cannot be rated. So, from that sense of, uh, 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 from that perspective, uh, the the very last institution to default would be the government. And if the government does default, there will be bigger problems for the country. So, uh, the the odds of that happening are fairly low. And in that sense, we are saying that the credit risk in these funds is uh, um, quite low and or acceptably low. And uh, uh, you must have seen that the NAV of these uh, uh, guilt funds uh, fluctuate quite a bit. And uh, it's very commonly understood that it is because of interest rate sensitivity. Well, um, a better way to look at it is to think in terms of demand and supply uh, 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 mismatch in the market. See, the, the point is that when people give an introduction to debt funds, they talk about what happens to existing bonds uh, when the interest rate increases. So if the interest rate increases, the value of the current bonds, existing bonds will go down. If the interest rate decreases, the value of the existing bonds in the portfolio will go up. That kind of uh, argument and that kind of discussion is okay for a start, but reality um, it doesn't happen like that. What happens is that the, there's a lot of speculation in the bond market, just like in the stock market. See, in the stock market, you cannot sit and correlate uh, a weekly movement, monthly movement uh, with what happened to the company financials, what happened to the corporate uh, profits and so on. There's a lot of speculation and it is that speculation which governs the gains or losses primarily rather than actual corporate profits. Maybe, okay, over a very long term, uh, earnings will uh, uh, determine returns and so on. But over the short term, it is the speculation which determines the uh, stock price movement. The same thing, the identical problem happens in the bond market. There's a lot of speculation in the bond market and uh, uh, that will uh, uh, result in the fluctuations uh, of the bond price. So people will start fearing that uh, RBI is not going to, um, uh, RBI is going to lower interest rates, for example, and they may, uh, uh, you know, uh, they, may hold, they may not sell the existing bonds. They may fear that RBI is going to, uh, increase interest rates and they may be in a hurry to sell existing bonds, whatever. So there will always be some kind of demand demand supply um, a mismatch in the stock market. Uh, and uh, particularly in times of uh, pandemics and uh, where there is a, uh, uh, you know, global uh, fear, then that fear will also uh, spread over to the bond market as well. So. These are the most important aspects that we should understand that it's a, it's a daily thing. Speculation is a daily thing. You can't uh, uh, so do a one-to-one -one correlation with interest rates. And uh, this, that is uh, to, to, uh, to repeat the analogy I've made in the article. If uh, uh, investing in the stock market is like drinking vodka, uh, investing in guild funds should be like drinking uh, uh, quite a lot of beer. So. Uh, that's the analogy with which you should get in and that's the mindset with which you get in. I'll talk about more questions later. Bye-bye.